Hello everyone, today we are going to make this 3D text but you can make a 3D logo or something like that and you can put your own gradient colors on it and also I'm going to show you how you can make those shines in an easy way so first of all you have to have your logo or text so I'm going to make a text and I'm going to choose another color so I can see the shadows so I'm going to choose a blue one select the text or your logo go effect 3d extrude and bevel and here we got the, this box popping up and uh, we can take in preview here so you can see this live and I always use to set these numbers to zero to start with, so it's all plain like that. And then I just can rotate it how I want it. Like if I just want to rotate this one, and I may be happy with that. I also can go to more options here. We have this extrude depth. We can choose how thick we want it. But I just will stay with 50 pixels. And here, if you want it to have no caps, but we're going to keep the caps. Of course, you can change this too, uh, but I always used to have a none here. And here's the shading though. So we, I, of, I often used to bring the light up on the top here but you can keep it wherever you want the lightning thing to come from but we will later recolor this so I don't know if it matters any much after we done that press OK and we got our 3D logo here but we want to continue with it of course we want to ma make our own color to it and stuff like that so have it selected go to object and expand appearance and it will make layers of this so you can go to the layer planet panel here and you will see a group for the A and you got the whole A here when you select it and underneath you can see many layers these are this is just one layer but for example for this one here you will find many difference of layers here so you can see which they are small paths here so well we're just gonna keep it so we have it like this the a one here first of all we want to choose our colors so we want to go to our sweat swatchers and I will make a new folder here or a group and I want to choose my colors which ones I want and I will make a blue one I want a pretty much light blue no that came to the wrong place there and then I also want a darker blue like that so now we got our colors ready and we are going to color this one we start with the A front here we go to this gradient then we pick in our colors right here and we take this gradient tool and we drag from above to bottom so we get light at the above and darker at the bottom and we're doing this even more we can do this one now so I just select it by clicking right here I choose the gradient and I take and drag it how I want it to be and I continue with the others 
this one is very very thin line I don't know if I even see it because it should be horizontal so it doesn't really matter so we continue with this one and you have to think about the light when you do this as you as, as you know we put the light coming up from here from above and since that the light will get shadows here so that means we have to do it the opposite way like this so its shadows just beneath the roof here just like that and then we got this one left here so we try to make it fit in here well of course we can choose both of these so it's even simpler so we remake it like that okay so the A is kinda done in the coloring we're going to do the same with the X now so we choose the X one here we got one line there um, we start with the front here and this and then we got this one here and we also have something there left over so we have to find it I think it's this one no um this one no it's not um well I can choose um I got some problem with my computer mouse here so I will just pick this one because I have it left over I do this again and take the gradient tool and do it like that we which layer is this one? This is the one beneath there so I picked it, these two ones and Actually, the other way we're going to do here. So the light is fitting here. So it's dark, more dark here inside because the light doesn't really hit in there. And so you just continue doing this. Checking that one. So soon everything is done here. Alright. Now we got this A and X all colored. What we want to do now is to make some shining here in the corners right here. There's a couple of ways to do this and we're going to do this must a perfect one but I will just show you how I did before so we just pick a color a uh, white color and you can use pen tool and you just drag it like this problem is you can't make a stroke of this because you have to make a gradient and, and it seems like it doesn't work to do it with the stroke it maybe works but I don't, I don't know how to do that if so well, this is kind of the classic idea to make it. Of course, this one is, doesn't go perfect. And then, of course, you will have a white one right in the middle, right there. You'll have all these white. And those white in the corners, you will have zero in opacity. So as you can see, it will be white in the middle and opacity here in, in the end. So you can do it that way to get those shines, but I prefer maybe a more perfect way, which I'm going to choose, show you. So what we're going to do is 
we're going to our layers right here we're going to start with the A1 and you will find where you want your um, highlights to be those shines so it's always on the on the face of the logo here the cap one here and it's the A1 here so what we're going to do, to do is we want to duplicate this one and we have want to have three layers the first layer is going to be smaller the second layer is going to be all white with transparent on the size as I just showed you and the third one is going to be the original so I'm just going to show you we're going to duplicate the A A1 here then we just have the top A selected we go to object path and offset path and here we want to make a preview you see it grows but we want don't want it to grow we want it to be smaller thinner so we find something that how thick you want your light to be so here's that line you're gonna look for maybe one pixels or two pixels one minus one pixel I'm going to have for this I'm pressing OK and as you can see we got this layer right here so the middle one we want to be white and well we want to be this gradient white so we still have it as a gradient so now we're going to do this gradient one though so add one uh, color right here put the location to 50% so it's in the middle make this one white and have colors in the corners a white one on location 0% and the opacity we want to take down to 0 and this one we also want white and opacity down to 0 we can go to this gradient just here and press save so we have it right in the menu right there as you can see now what's happening is we have this above here the off path one covering over this one and this one in the end is the original so this one will just cover it this is the main white one and yeah so we're going to put our gradients now pick the gradient tool we are on the second layer where we have our gradient white one here we're gonna drag it how we want it we want it here to be here and maybe like that of course now you will see that you have a gradient also around this area and stuff like that what we would then will do we will just have this direct selection tool shoot pick the points and drag them inwards this maybe is a quicker way but this should work fine well that's enough for this example um, we also can make on this one of course it's the same way we open the X one find the front one here and we're going to do as we did we duplicate it and go object path offset path minus one can preview it okay make the middle one a white overlay right here and we're going to choose where we want our shade to be right if you want it up here or if you want it here or well is your way how you want the path to be or maybe it's one we'll take it right there and then you pick the points drag it in
and that's kind of how you are doing it so thanks you for watching this tutorial hope you like it see you next time